tarantulas. The very word alone makes people envisage images of giant, man-eating, deadly spiders. To many, however, the tarantula is a beloved pet, a companion, an obsession. Actually, to more than a hundred thousand people the world over, the tarantula is their pride and joy. Make no mistake, that number is on the low end, and it is exponentially on the rise. Tarantula keeping is one of the quickest growing hobbies in the animal world. To those in the hobby of tarantula keeping, it is more than just a hobby, more than just caring for an unusual pet. It is an all-out addiction. In this age of easily attained information, people are starting to realise that the tarantula myths are just that. They're myths. That these amazing creatures are massively misunderstood. That they are not dangerous, that they cannot kill you, and that they do make fantastic pets. Even to the most devout arachnophobe, the tarantula presents an interesting case. In my own, and many others' experience, those that are deathly afraid of your regular run-of-the-mill house spider are interested, even intrigued, about learning more once they see a tarantula in person. It's the size, it's the appearance, it's the personality of such a large spider that puts their mind at ease. The truth is, tarantulas are amazing creatures and yet fundamentally misunderstood. They make for fantastic pets. There are many hundreds of different species available in the hobby. And the hobby is a worldwide one. With such a large number of hobbyists encompassing the entire world, one would think that there would be a multitude of monthly publications available to choose from. There are none. Let me repeat that. There are none. Not one single monthly publication available in the world, the entire world, that cares to this immensely popular hobby of tarantula keeping. To put that into perspective, think of all the other magazines for pets, from dogs to snakes, cats to lizards, even fish. There are dozens, and yet, for the tarantula enthusiast, there is not one. This is a unique opportunity to utilise this immensely growing hobby and provide education to those interested in becoming a part of it. Just think of the possibilities, the world's first, the world's only, the world's premier tarantula magazine. Our goal is to create the world's first and only magazine aimed specifically at the tarantula enthusiast, both in electronic format and printed publication. We have the knowledge, we have the content, we have the advertisers, we have the ability, and we have educated and knowledgeable staff waiting. We just need your pledges to make it happen. Tarantula Magazine, the world's first, the world's only magazine for tarantula enthusiasts. And to all my fellow tarantula enthusiasts out there, when you are new to the hobby of tarantulas, how distraught, how annoyed, how upset were you when you realized that there simply were no magazines out there for you? Remember that feeling, that sensation, that anger? Well, it affected us all. Why is there no magazine for us? Now look at the facts. There are perhaps hundreds of thousands of us that have our roots deeply seated in the realms of the tarantula hobby. Yet there is, nor has there ever been, one single magazine regularly in publication to help us out. Never. Not one. 
We are Tarantula Magazine. We know, we understand exactly how you felt, exactly how you feel. We are here to make the difference. We are here to educate, to teach, to promote just how fantastic the hobby of tarantula keeping truly is. Never again should any one of us feel that awful lost feeling when we realize that there is just no magazine out there for us. Well, we are important. Our hobby is important. Tarantulas are important. Help us. Help us to help all the future millions upon millions of tarantula enthusiasts out there, as well as the hundreds of thousands of us that are currently involved in the hobby. To know that there is support out there, to know that their newfound interest and love is supported and understood by others, that they are not alone like we once were. Our adoration for these creatures deserves publicity. It deserves knowledge and it deserves understanding. Help us. We all deserve a voice, a magazine, a place among the magazine rack. My name is Scott Templeman and I am the driving force behind Tarantula Magazine.